What's up? My name is Jad T. Jones from GuyTellsAll.com and today I'd like to talk to you about beauty. What do men find beautiful? Society, magazines, Hollywood is brainwashing you and making you insecure about your looks. They are uh, either directly or indirectly telling you that men want a certain type of woman. This, of course, makes you insecure because most of the models that you see on magazines are teenage girls. And teenage girls don't have curves. So, what's really going on? As you know, I'm a coach for many men and I teach men how to attract and meet the women of their dreams. So I've interviewed men and asked them, what is it that you ultimately want? What do you want more than anything? A common misconception is that men are only after one thing. Men just want sex. Men don't want commitment. I found out something very interesting. With the men that I've interviewed and coached, I always ask this question, what do you ultimately want, man? What do you ultimately want in a perfect world? And they all say the same thing. Jad, man, I just want to find the one. I want to find that one woman who I get along with, who's like my best friend, who I can love, who I can have amazing, passionate sex with. All right? And what comes next is really good. They say, you know what? She doesn't have to be perfect. She doesn't have to be a perfect 10. As long as uh, she's a good person and she's loyal and she's compassionate, that's what I really want ultimately. That's the, the person I'll stay with. So it's not about looks, it's about your heart, it's about compassion. So now I'm going to tell you what I find as true beauty. For me, the most beautiful thing in a woman is compassion. How does that manifest? What does that look like? Compassion is this innocence, this loving giver, this innocent a person who's just a giver, right? It's that sparkle in the eye. It's that softness, that kindness, that openness and that approachability, right? That's what I find beautiful. Someone who is connected to her heart. Someone who I can feel when I talk to. I'll give you the opposite of this. Sometimes I'll see a really beautiful girl. She's all dolled up, looks like a, just like a bombshell, right? And I'll be like, wow, she's so beautiful. And I go up and I talk to her. I'm like, hey, what's up? How's it going? Right? And then she turns to me and what comes out of her mouth is something like this. Oh, hi. Yeah, how are you doing? Oh, uh, oh, yeah, my day's good. Oh, yeah, I was just shopping. And then I went, oh, yeah, I'm going with my friends. And oh, my God, yeah, like uh, I live up in uh, Yale Town and uh, blah, 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 blah. Right? All up in the head. No heart connection there. All self-centered. No presence. Right? So immediately when I see that, who I thought was a beautiful woman, when I see that, immediately my attraction, boom, it's gone. Uh, immediately I want to get out of there. Immediately I'm like, oh no, right? This person is completely disconnected from compassion, from love. This person is a complete taker, complete self-centered. This person has not go gone through any suffering or any kind of life experiences to teach them what being a human is and what humanity is, right? You can tell so much about a person just by their tone of voice and, and the way they, they move and the way they talk and what they talk about. And so, what I, with the message I'm, I'm telling you is that maybe on the appearance she looked perfect, but the second I talked to her, the second I talked to her and she, she has no compassion, she's up in her head, not down in her heart, that second, boom, it's done, it's done. I don't want anything to do with her because I know that along with her lack of compassion, she's very selfish. Selfish people are takers. That means that if I add her to my life, she's not going to be a contributor of value. She's going to be someone who's leeching off of me. And that's the last thing I want. That's the last thing any of us want. We want someone who's going to come into our life and give, give, give because we are love at our essence. And all, our only job is to give. And just as we want to give, we want the other person to give too. 
We want to find a loving partner, not a loveless partner, right? So on the other hand, I may go and approach a woman, another woman who initially didn't seem that sp uh, spectacular, um, you know, physically. But I go up and I talk to her. And then I look into her eyes. I see that beautiful, sparkling smile, that innocence, that softness, that heart connection, that compassion. She's a giver. And in that moment, I'm charmed. In that moment, I'm, I surrender. In that moment, I'm like, wow. I get sucked in. And I just like, I, I get, you know, I just get in the moment. I'm just like, wow, what an amazing, beautiful uh, person, amazing star, amazing uh, energetic being, right? And I get fascinated. Hey, what's up? How, you know, like, how are you? And, and I'd lo love to get to know you. There's that depth. So I feel like there's that depth that I can dive into and explore and enjoy, right? That's what beauty is. So stop wasting your time shopping and, 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 and chasing objects and start deepening who you are, getting connected with your heart, remembering what compassion is, what respect is for other human beings, what being a giver is. And start being that giving, wonderful, beautiful, kind, soft, light in this world and men will just fall in love with you they'll be like wow dude I met this girl today Whew. she blew my mind amazing right so to me that's what true beauty is compassion right there that is the most beautiful thing in the world because compassion is light love is light and when you are love, when you are compassion, you are light. And then you shine. And when you shine, people see you. And you are different from every other girl in the room. You are a star. Right? And it's not about your physicality. It's about what's coming out of you. What's your, what's your energy. Alright? So that is what's true uh, beauty. And that's what men respond to. So don't get brainwashed by society and magazines making you feel like you're not enough. You have everything you need within you now. You just have to own it ah, and let it shine. And then you will see that when men meet you, they're going to be like, wow, who are you? All right? So that's what beauty is to me. And I believe that's what beauty is to most men out there. All right, my name is Jad T. Jones from GuyTellsAll.com. If you like these videos, please share them. I'm not going to spend my time internet marketing behind a computer, so it's, it is my hope that by giving this genuine message out, that you will help me by sharing it with as many girls, as many women as you know, so that this uh, can become a movement and help as many women, as reach as many women as possible. Thank you. Peace.